Hi, Hiram here. When I did the uh, first boil test on this self Starlight alcohol stove, it had a uh, pot stand like so. I took it out. I wasn't going to because I was afraid I might not be able to get it back in. It's a little tough to get it back in, but I thought I'd take it out. Anyway, um, in the first test I had mentioned that this pot stand was a little off on the one inch sweet spot, that it was a, a little bit short, which I thought might affect the boil time because for alcohol stoves, one inch seems to be the distance that works the best between the burner and the bottom of the pot. Anyway, I had mentioned that and ever since then I've had a number of people ask me if I do another test on the uh, Starlight without the pot stand but using something else like the hardware cloth pot stand that we all use. So I have this one. It's a little bit tall. So what I'm going to do is in a test with this, I took out the pot stand. I'm going to elevate the burner a little bit enough that this pot stand will make it one inch between the burner and the bottom of the pot. So I'll give this a try. Let me get some water prep, get some alcohol in here, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I have 30 milliliters of methanol in the burner. The burner is elevated up so that it leaves the one inch sweet spot between that and the bottom of the pot. Uh, after this comes to a boil, <coughs> excuse me, I have a washer that I'm going to try to see if this works for a simmer. I'll leave the dimensions down below. It says it's a three quarter inch washer, which I thought meant the hole, but the hole is actually larger, about point. 1.8 or 20 millim 20.6 millimeters. I'll give that a try just to see what happens. Let's light this. I'm going to go to the other camera. Oops. That's lit. Again, two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see what this does. We're now at the two minute mark. The temperature is up to 97 degrees Fahrenheit, 98. I'm not sure. It still doesn't look quite right. See how the flame uh, goes in and then comes back out. But uh, this should be the one inch between here and here. Just not sure why that's looking quite like that. Usually it doesn't dent in before it goes up to the top of the pot. But still burning pretty well. We'll just com compare this to the first time that I got on this. So Let's see how long it takes to get to a boil. There we have 210. Come on. 211. To 12 in 9 minutes 24 seconds. Well, that was kind of disappointing. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just put this washer on real quick, see what it looks like. I think you can see that, that it knocks the flame down quite a bit. See how it really knocked down the flame? although it's starting to come out around the edges. Maybe the washer's not quite big enough. But uh, let's see how long this will run. We're now at the 15 minute mark. The temperature was hovering at uh, 210 degrees Fahrenheit for the longest time. It just now dropped down to 209. So this is, I don't remember what uh, simmer temperature is, but at least this isn't a hard boil for all this time. What I'm just hoping now is that this flame is hot enough to keep the burner vaporizing but uh, you know if you're cooking something and you need it to simmer for a while this seems to be working okay so let's just it now without the uh, the first test that I did without a simmer ring it continued to burn for 22 minutes 44 seconds so we'll see what this does I have a feeling though it may go out because it's not hot enough rather than running out of fuel. But we'll see. Okay, we're coming up on 25.44 right there. That's three minutes longer 
than the first hit time I ran this test without a, a simmer ring. Uh, I don't know why the temperature has gone back up. It just went up to uh, 212 just about 10 seconds ago. But before that it was hanging at uh, 209, 210 and then just started going up. I don't know if this is going in its last gasps or what. What I'll do now is I'll show you a picture here. Once this stuff cools off I'll take some pictures of it to show you how the washer is setting on the burner right here. This is just a washer I picked up at a hardware store. Again, I'll put the dimensions down below, but the outside diameter is 1.97 inches. That's 50.1 millimeters. The outside diameter, the inside diameter of the hole is 0.81 inches, which is 20.6 millimeters. And it's about 1 point, it's about 0.13 inches or 3.3 millimeters in thickness. I didn't weigh this, but it probably weighs more than the stove does. But uh, here we are working on 27 minutes, and it still looks like a pretty healthy flame. Healthy enough that it's keeping the temperature up at 212. I was really concerned that this would uh, maybe go out because it wasn't staying hot enough, but apparently it is. So I hope this helps those that were asking for this. Now the temperature, the time, boil time on this was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 9 minutes 24 seconds. The first time it was 9 minutes 59 seconds. So that's only a savings of about 30 some seconds. I'm surprised. I really thought it would uh, go a little bit faster than that. But still, 30 seconds is 30 seconds. But uh, again, I hope this helps those that ask for this. Uh, I always look forward to that kind of stuff. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.